The letter currently said is a flow of charge. Back to my flow of charge. That there is a flow of charge. If you imagine that to be a little like a little light bulb, or it doesn't matter what's going on there, can you, you can focus on that? Yeah. It's a bit tricky. Right. So what are the orange bits and pieces? Are the yellow bits and pieces here? Oh, um. What do they represent? The protons. Not protons. Neutrons. Not neutrons. A mixture of protons and neutrons. If that was a proton. And that was a proton. Do you get electrons going through protons like no. that? No. So if electrons are going through, passing through things, what do you think they're passing by? They're just atoms. And yeah, they're just atoms themselves. So if you were to zoom in on this, you would see most of it, we spoke about this before, this is almost completely empty space, right? But every so often in there, you've got an atom of, in this case, aluminium. So atoms of aluminium, atoms of aluminium, atoms of aluminium. <coughs> An atom is made up of the protons, neutrons, and electrons. So there's the protons and neutrons in there, and very faint around them. If I stop this, we might have a better chance of seeing this. So let's stop the current. You might just be able to make out the faint dots around there. And that's representing the electrons of that atom. So aluminium atom, protons, neutrons, and the electrons squaring around it. Protons, neutrons, the electrons squaring around it, right? Now, this is a little bit misleading, but sometimes even look at a misleading analogy can be useful because around here are all those electrons. Now, when you apply a potential difference, what will happen to those electrons? They will move. And this is the difference between a conducting material and a plastic material, like an insulating material. If I put a positive and a negative here in an insulator, the electrons won't be able to move. They'll feel the positive, but they'll be so attracted to the nucleus and to the bonds, the electrical bonds around them, that they won't move as a result. And that's what makes it an insulator. In this case, it's easy for them to, to, to leave. What's misleading about this guy is it suggests that the current, it suggests that if I attach a battery, the battery supplies electrons to the wire. So it's like if I attach the battery to the two ends here, the, the battery would supply electrons. Why is that incorrect? Because the electrons are already there. The electrons are already there. All it's doing is it's making the electrons move around at a more quicker rate, or making them move around where they wouldn't before, or certainly even if you increase the potential difference, you're making them move around more quickly. So it's misleading because it introduces the electrons. Now, if I make the current go bigger, it's suggesting that it's introducing more electrons, where all that's actually happening is it's making more and more of the electrons that are already there past the point if in a fixed amount of time. So this brings us on to our notion of current. Current is a flow of electrons, right? And if the current is one amp, you're saying that one coulomb of charge passes by a fixed point per second. Remember we said one coulomb is a really, really big amount of electrons. So if the current is one amp, then one coulomb, which is a big amount of electrons, pass a point in one second. If it's two amps, then it's as if two coulombs pass per second. Okay? Back to the whole notion of I can get rid of that. What happens to the atoms if they lose an electron? It's not... We'll see later on in semiconductors, there's a sort of a fixed amount of electrons. And when it loses an electron, what's left becomes positively charged. Right? But here what happens is there's, it's like this big swarm of electrons are surrounding all the atoms. So all that's happening is they're all just moving along like that. So it's not like any one electron in a metal is associated with a particular atom. They're shared between all the atoms, and they start moving along like that. Okay?